TLO was popping. We are on Twitch. We are not live. If you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your pull notification bell, man. Just continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. It is documentary Monday. I think I done dropped a, a, a good amount of video today. I got this HMP Belmarsh with Rose Kemp. For some reason, it got blocked. So, whenever that gets unblocked, y'all will have that. And I also did part two to it. But for some reason, my video only recorded seven minutes of the hour long video. So, I don't know if I'm going to be redoing that or not. Um, because, you know, I do all my reactions live. So, it won't be the same. I might do it just because there's two parts, but y'all will know that I've already watched it. So. But, Benefit Street, Series 1. Season 1, Episode 4. Why they put Series 1? Come on, man. Get this shit together. You see this street here? James Turner Street. Oh, I don't want to watch the intro. I know exactly where it's done at. The wow. There you go. Four episodes in, gotta know where. James Turner Street is in an area of Birmingham called Winston Green. A place where there are more people claiming unemployment benefits than anywhere else in the country. If you don't work, how else are you gonna get money? Sign on. No, I'd like to work for my money, thank you. You're not gonna sign on? Mm -hmm. Just okay, Caitlin. Just imagine if you stay at home all the time. Black D's daughter, I mean, White D's daughter. Nope. Not White D stopped full-time work and started claiming benefits five years ago when she had her son Gerard. Are you going to sign on when you leave school and sit on the wall all the time with no job? You're not either. I'm not going to say I'm too old to have dreams because I'm not too old to have dreams. But at this moment in time, all my dreams are for my children. I don't want money. I just want them to be happy. Be able, you know, to fulfill their education, to That's be able talk. to get a job. You really just a lot of the times your dreams have to be put on pause when you have children and you gotta live for their dreams and whatnot. But you know, my daughter is ten months. I'm going to continue. <laughs> we we'll get a job. We can do yes. both. We'll be completely different to the rest of the world. Yes. At least I have a living. I'd love it to have a career. I want both my kids to have careers. Do you I'm know supposed what I mean? to do a vlog today. You just do want the best for your kids. We'll work on that. It's not just her own kids that White D is looking out for. For many, when there's a problem, she's the first person they turn to. Where's Ozzy D? See now. And today it's 25-year-old mum of two, SB, who needs her help. Two kids have attacked her son Tyrell whilst he was playing in the park. White Jim knows one of the mums of the boys responsible. You know the police are involved, don't you? Yeah, of course the police are involved. They kicked him in the head and stamped on his chest. Do you know what I'm saying? This is this is what we're trying. This is that's Tyrell. They kicked him in the head and stamped on his chest. Do you know? Tyrell is unfazed. Go get your lick back, little. Go get your lick back, Tyrell. <laughs> I don't look, I don't condone any of this too. I'm just saying. I'm saying this is, this is what we're trying. This is what we're. Of well, course, the police are involved. Police. Police. Come on, man. But you know, but it's not about grounding him. They trod on a child's head and kicked him in the chest. But the laugh of it is because they're ten, they'll get they'll get arrested. <coughs> they're ten. <coughs> no, I know. I've known you since you were a baby, but if someone. Do you, do you think someone just ringing you and saying sorry? Do you think, you know what I mean? How would you feel, babes? You know, what my, fr my friend's son's done it, and he's done it to my friend's son. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I'm going to be real 100 for you. If somebody got into a fight with my child, okay. Uh, to defend yourself, go go fight back. Cause you know I'm not nobody just step on you like that. But I'm going to go whoop their parents' ass, and that's just me personally. I don't care. <laughs> that's just the me and me. I gotta go. I gotta go see about your parents, both of them. Both of them. I'm gonna go call my baby mama. 
that we going up there to terrorize some shit. So just know that respectfully. YouTube, I don't condone violence. There's other ways to get the situations and points across. But hey, listen. Sorry, Lord. D, can you just give me the address? Tell her to either come here or I will come Your down there. there that's right. Pull up on her. Beat it. And she African. <laughs> yeah. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah, mommy. And can you eat your mommy's belly? Huh? Since having her second child two years ago, Espy's been bringing up her children on her own. It is a bit of a struggle, you know. I don't want to be broke and look broke or look poor. When I was working, I could buy the food that I wanted to buy. But now, I can't do that. She's been looking for work as a model and has been approaching modelling agents with her photos. The woman that was taking my photographs, she couldn't believe that I was pregnant and that I was in heels. <laughs> And um, trying and pulling off these beautiful pictures. You but in the good, meantime, let that shit SB go. gets no financial support from either of her children's fathers. I want to go and deal or no deal because I'm just in debt that I can't even afford. Like the amount of debt that I'm in, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, I'm in a bit of debt and it's just. <sighs> she hasn't seen Tyrell's dad since they split up. Was Tyrell's dad your first love? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> We got together and at 16, we got pregnant. Um, lost our first child, which was um, a girl, Latavia. I gave birth to her. Sorry. Where's she at? But yeah, um, yeah, and then that's when the domestic violence started after that. Oh, wow. And then 18 months later, I had Terrell, which was a bit of a blessing. It was a blessing to know that I could have another child, but it was just upsetting that I'm having a child with a man that just constantly beats me all the time. Domestic violence is, uh, I don't condone that at all. That's the, so he was beating that up, he was doing, he was domestic violence in you. And you had another child with him. That's 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 what domestic violence do to you. It play with you mentally, so mentally, so messed up in the brain that it can get you to have another child with the person that's harming you. Call the police. I wanna do this modeling, you okay. know, just to show him. It's about that he hasn't put me down. In that situation, go that ahead. I can actually do this. And that he's not holding me down forever. He's holding me down for the last 10 years of my life. From 50 to 25. It's April. No, and from across the country, it's a day of national mourning. Did you know Margie um, first she was dead? Did you? I didn't. Um, I can't be bothered with her. With who? That bloody woman. Which woman? Margaret, whatever her name is. You're not tuning in to the funeral today? You're not interested in her? No, no, no. Why not? Yeah, well, the old man, I just want to relax here. I mean, <laughs> who will watch my funeral? <laughs> Talk about it. So is that class as four military honours? So. Sure, any military guy was sure? Any black kids there? There's no one from fucking Birmingham there. Oh, 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 my God. Love me in my life. Go on, son. All right, I know she was a good Prime Minister. Yeah, she went wrong. Now, the only thing I don't like about her is what she's done to the coal miners and the workers things. Other than that, I think she was quite good. What did she do for you? Got me put on the street. <coughs> Yeah. You got me put on the street, huh? Yeah. So she was all right, was she? Right, what are you talking Fuck about? Oh, no. oh, <laughs> For ten years before he arrived on James Turner Street, the guy was homeless. How did I get into this shit, man, huh? Sleep on the fucking streets. 
This is where we used to put our blankets in the daytime. Just put them in there like that. And you know you've got to grab them by a certain time. Pe people know whose blankets are blankets. Do you know what I mean? So they don't touch it by rights, which is good. Do you see where that piece of wood is there? That's where we, that used to be a doorway. Look at that. What's this? I found me asleep in there. 1080p? God damn. I ain't even gonna touch it. I already know it's not. And I heard Dad's blankets pulled off me. And there's my daughter and all my, my nephews and nieces. She broke down and cried. But at the end of the day, what really got me is that I was more interested in getting a hit than seeing my daughter. Do you know what I mean? Because I couldn't speak to you the way I was. I didn't want to look at me the way I was. Do you know what I mean? Never yeah, that's it, a rough never one. Fungi has a daughter and two sons, all from different mothers. Uh, Fungi was a rolling stone. He was putting that pickle anywhere, huh? <laughs> His youngest son was adopted when he was four. Oh, uh, okay. But Fungi's held on to some mementos of their time together. When he was three years old, only he may open this. It's his first teddy bear. But he don't listen. It's for him. When he was three, only he may open this. They all the cards from when he was born. Oh, his drawings. He will be now six and a half. The family is with, don't like me. So it's down to them when I see my son. Brought him up from the day he was born until the eight years he was took. Do you know what I mean? And it really hurts. I'd like to see him. Where did it all go wrong then? Drugs. Do you know what I mean? Like I say, you got A and B in the fork. I know I took it to B road. The fucking wrong road. Yeah. Fucking hell, it's like fuck, man. I proper hate myself for it, mate. I proper hate myself. That's sad, man. Yeah, man. Your kids will have a way of making you feel like that, man, when you're not around her. When I put my daughter to sleep and I go watch TV in the living room, I feel bad. <laughs> Single mom SB's focus yeah, isn't really. just on finding work as a model. She's also looking for a day job and a way to get off benefits. Mom. You want your dinner? Huh? I look for work, I send CVs. I don't get nothing back. Mom. Don't know why we can't find no jobs. Some people have even not got no experience, some are over experience, like can't win. I don't think I'd ever be in this predicament. And these days you can't even pick your job, you're just gonna go for what's there. So I'm looking for cleaning jobs. Um, what else jobs have I been looking for? Cleaning, secretarial, admin. Hot, mommy. Hot. Huh? Is it hot? Hot. Blow it. <laughs> I think I would've definitely made it more as a model in America than, than over here. You know, in America, there's more chance of you getting spotted or stuff like that. Wait, what did you say? I would have definitely made it more as a model. Think I would have definitely made it more as a model in America than, than over here. You know, in America, there's more chance of you getting spotted or stuff like that. In in here, where we go, we have to live in London to get spotted. I don't live in London. Listen, I'm going to tell you something right now. I got good female friends that are models. In America, they want a certain, you got to be a certain, I'm not going to lie, how old, how old are you? Let's escape. When was this? 2020? <laughs> this is obviously like some years ago. Probably when she was doing this, and when, at that time, they wanted you to look a certain way. Like, not even, you could be black, whatever, they don't care about that. But your body got to be a certain way. If you a black girl coming in there, you had to be skinny. Because I have a few model friends that are African-American. And they, they went to my high school. Big models. Victoria's Secret models. <laughs> like, and they, they come in like that. 
It was real. I don't know if y'all know who, uh, I forgot what she go by now, but her name was Erin Bubbly. She went to my high school. She's a white girl, but she's a big model. She goes by Erin, what's her name now? They changed it for modeling. What's her name? You know, someone like Ozzy Osbourne lived in the um, lived in the ghetto, but made it big. You know, Ozzy Osbourne lived in Aston, and now he's in America with how many millions? Finding a career might not be Fungi's first priority. But he's determined to get his life. That's her name. They changed it to. Uh, it was Erin Bubbly. She had a twin sister name. Um, uh, 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 it doesn't even matter. But they changed it to Heatherton. Her name is Erin Heatherton now. If you Google her, she's a Victoria's Secret model. We went to high school together. Life back on track. She used to hoop. She used to play ball. Thank you. And then I'll give you one when I got mine. He's been living in his house for five years. She stares because they're pitch black. And he often finds himself without electricity. Yeah. None of these lights up here, you know. None of these lights up here work. This is my bathroom. I've never been able to have a bath in there since I've been here. Do you know what I mean? I have to go around to my dad's or pop over to D's or whatever. But that fell off the wall the other day. What am I supposed to do? Go to the toilet and not wash my hands? Nah, I don't think so. That's the water coming through a little bit slick. But this here. Basically, that's supposed to be my shower. I've had some baths in some dirty places, but that. I wouldn't even attempt. Damn, that's crazy. Like, I look, think back, I went, I went to a high school in the suburbs, and I'm thinking about it. Like, we got like some famous people that went to that school. Like, it's a couple comedians that's on TV shows, like do stand up comedy. It's uh, some, uh, it's a few models. Like Erin is, is her. Then we had a girl named Flo. She modeled a little bit. Then her uh, best friend modeled. It was a lot of them. I sit back and I think, like, damn, all right, well, damn, my turn. <laughs> my turn. I uh, mean, I'll embarrass myself. Yeah, my kids are kicked out of high school. This year's supposed to work. It's never worked since the day I've been here. I mean, my back door there has got a hole in it. You can't get through that. Oh, why are you getting through that? You know what I mean? That's the alarm. So if something comes through, it falls off. I mean, if it was dead, it's dead for the world, I'd hear that. I mean, that's what he's there for on these. I've had enough. I've had enough. I just want to be normal. I'd like to know what it's like. Try and remember what it's like to be normal. Fungi's plan now is to get clean. Methadone, yeah. You right, James? Yeah, thank you. And try to see his kids. How's things? All right, thank you. It's going to be better than I want to drink this. If I get clean and all that, I'm praying to God. I just fall into place like a jigsaw does. Yeah. It is for myself, but I want to get to know my kids. Really Ooh, want to get to know my kids. Come to the end where it's like got to stop. Do you know what I mean? See, at least he had like his. People say the first step is to admit it. Yeah. I've admitted it, so no, I'm on the verge of getting things sorted. All right, it'll be after Christmas before you even get near a hat rehab. So moving fast, yeah. Today is a big day for White D's 15 year old daughter, Caitlin. <laughs> she got a job? <laughs> She's running in a girls' association athletics competition. Oh. You do well. Why don't you, you go? Don't come home. That was a joke, by the way. Come home. She's always had the impression of that she will do school, she will do college, she will go and get a job. That's what's up. No, I need a week. And there's an added incentive for Caitlin to do well today. 
she wants to pursue a career in sports. When I'm older, I'm going to try and become a gym instructor. Well, anything to do with sports, really. On your marks, get set. When I was younger, I wanted to do like hair and all that. But then like, as I started growing up, I started to realize I'm not one of them people that want to be a hairdresser. I'm one of them outgoing, sporty people. She gets second place. He just SB has some good news about a modeling opportunity. <laughs> SB has some good news about a modeling opportunity. SB has some good news about a modeling opportunity. <laughs> She's been asked by an agency to take part in an audition. The entrance fee is £20, half the money she has left for the week. I can put in the 20 pound and get back 20 grand, you never know. I just have to take the risk. Gang. I've got food and stuff that can last for the kids for the week. So I'm all right with that. And, and just hope for the best, that something comes out of this. Even like now I'm pushing Kiwi and I've got my hands like this, I'm still trying to practice my walk. <laughs> you know, I'm getting on. I might look younger, but I'm not getting any younger. And then within the modeling industry, you know, you gotta get your chance, grab your chance while you can. Oh. Nice. This is my chance. Hey, mommy. Caitlin's back home after competing in her athletics event. Come in, Caitlin. I've got a second in the 400. Second! Who beat ya? This is Asian girl, and I come first in the 200! Wow, well done! To help Caitlin realise her dream of a career in sports, White D has arranged work experience for her at the local leisure centre. I told you not to come home with anything less than a bronze. I'm just going to see now how she gets on next week and does Good a bit job, of Caitlin. working. And I just hope she does buckle down hard and that the opportunity is there for her to get a job. How did you get on? Gold and silver. <gasps> I'm gonna take them cash converters on Monday. <laughs> See how much I can get for them. <laughs> They're not funny. <laughs> SB's paid her 20 pounds and is taking part in the modeling competition in a central Birmingham casino. What made you apply for Mr. and Mrs. Lonway? Um, when I got scouted and something I've always wanted to do. So, yeah. that all the questions? <laughs> um, good. Yep. That's good. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Well done. Yeah. No, you just sit right back down, huh? In front of everybody. You know, my first walk, I don't think it was too, too powerful. I just think that they asked me less questions and I had to do most of the walking. So I don't know what's going on there. But I just hope that the modeling can get me and my kids financially stable, you know? And it makes me think, when I'm at home having my bad days, you know, with the kids, I feel like I can't get to be the model that I want to be because I'm depressed all the time. So getting the chance to be a model, is is something that I want to do, so it, it's 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 great. Keep hope alive. With my boy. Yeah. See me some tomorrow. See me some tomorrow. <laughs> but only for an hour, because that's all I'm allowed. An hour. Fun guys just received some surprising news. You're happy. I'm seeing my son tomorrow. What? Only for an hour, my son, for an hour. Last time I seen my son was three years ago. I said, that's what's going to work tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Because I haven't seen my son for so long. It's going to kill me. Don't get drunk you know I mean? but tonight. But at the end of the day, 
I'm back in the swing of it now. I can start seeing my son again. As far as I know, it's just happened completely out of the blue. I don't know. I don't know how it's happened, but he's over the moon. So I've washed all his clothes for him and... Do you know what I mean? So fingers crossed. Yeah, when I first put, made, made the phone call, I'm thinking it's a hoax. Someone's playing games with me, but it weren't. Do you know what I mean? It was the grandmother. And I was glad. Do you know what I mean? I was saying, who's taking the fucking piss? I just hope it works out for him. Me too, honestly. I know. We're black dead! It's not really fun. There's a McDonald's on top of the Happy Rose. I've got to be there for half past 11. I'll be there 15 minutes early because I want to spend a full hour with him. So it's like half past 11 till half past 12. Do you know what I mean? I know. And I love it. It's all happening good now. So it's like I'm going up that ladder. Instead of coming back down here, I'm going up it. Do you know what I mean? And I feel good for it. Do you know what I mean? I really do feel good for it. That's what's up, fun guy. Oh, he's late? Fun guy! Fun guy! Go through the back. So if, he, if, he, if he's not up and out, I'll kill him. It's 10 a.m. and Fun Guy's due to meet his son in an hour and a half. I'm getting pissed off now! He's just not opening the door. I've been trying to get him up since half eight this morning. I can want to break the door. I hope he's not a being a complete arsehole and misses it. And I know he only sleeps in that room. Oh, shit. Do you think that'll fit through the letterbox? Like I'm going on a beating mission. Break it. <laughs> she's a good woman, man. She's trying every take. She's good. She's. I'm glad she's the block mom. She's literally the mom for everybody on this block. Like, have you got anything bendy? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah, it's not bending. Yeah, it's not bending. Yeah, it's not bending. Yeah, You're gonna meet your son in a few minutes. You're not meeting him, the whole point. What do you mean? You're on your own. You're on your own. What happened? How ain't he been there? Fun told White D the adoptive parents of his youngest son called last night to cancel the meeting. He didn't say anything for me. He didn't say why. No, he said, look, it's over tomorrow. And before I had the chance to say anything, the brothers were down. Everyone deserves to see their kids fun. It don't matter what's going on or shit, do you know what I'm saying? Broken me. That's my stuff. Getting broken. You're not going to let it break, Jack. Oh, I'm not that close to the last one, believe me. I'm shaking him. Do you want to try and go through the proper channels to see him? Not allowed to. Why? Because he's been adopted, aren't they? And so they've actually adopted him? Yeah, I've allowed them to adopt him because he's really sleeping, his sister. Yeah. So I've allowed that family to adopt him. So it's down to them now to say when I can and can't see him. You did the right thing, man. Yeah. Breaks the fucking heart, man. But you know, they do, they're trying to do the right thing too because they it's worried about stability. You coming in and out of his life, they don't know when the next time you're going to come see him. This could be a, they could be thinking it could be a one-off thing. They could be thinking like, man, I don't want to traumatize my child. Like, I get it. It pisses me off when you've got fathers, like that can't be asked to even fucking contact their kids. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
And then when you've got someone who actually wants to see their kids, you know what I mean? And they're not allowed. Just let him see his son, man. You know what I mean? It's like, it's out of order. <laughs> Mark's an out-of-work dad bringing up two kids on James Turner. Recently, his benefits were cut. Finding enough money to put food on the table is becoming a headache. I could get a horse right about now. Really today? Nah. Bad enough ink. Mark and his partner, Becky, are resorting to a food bank to feed their family. Gotta do what you gotta do. We're pleading for food. If that's the way I see it, we've got to plead for food these days. I don't like it, like using a food bank, because that's the way it shouldn't be. Looks all right around here. What it is like, I mean, poverty scavenging for food for our cupboards. It shouldn't be like that in this society. But Mark is not alone. Around 350,000 people in the UK relied on food banks last year. Have you ever been to a food bank before? I haven't, no. This is the first time we've, I've actually come. So the reason that you're here, it says low income, so are you working at the moment? I'm not, no. You're not? Are you, are you on some kind of benefit? Um, all what we get is job seekers allowance. Are you claiming that? As a couple. With your yeah. And you've got two children? I have, yeah. How old are they? One's one, and the other one's three. Okay, what I'll do, I'll just take this um, okay. into the back, they'll pack your parcel for you, and then we'll just have a little bit of a chat more about your situation. Yeah, that's fine. Right, thank you. It was a care worker who identified Mark's family as being in need of help. Maybe one more sugar. Well, half sugar. However, the voucher that was issued is in his partner Becky's name. Okay, well, because it's in your partner's name, have you got anything to go on to prove that that's your partner? Because normally we wouldn't, unless it was a support worker, we wouldn't just give out a food parcel. Oh, uh, yeah, I've got nothing come so, there. The only thing we can do is either ask you to come back later or ask your partner to come down. It's gonna be complicated because he has to get bus money again. Can't believe that. Because they can't prove that I'm Becky's partner, they've told me to either f wait for them to phone them up later, which by the time they phone up, it'll be closed anyway. No, I've got to go home and explain to Becky for Becky to come up here. It's really, really badly annoying. But what can I do about it? Nothing. It happens. And I'm just, I'm no luck at all. <laughs> I must be the unluckiest guy on the planet. Nothing good happens to me. Yeah. I mean, the country is going. It's going not going to be afford to pay to pay for everybody. Do you think it's going to afford? Because a lot of people are around. We have to work. If I mean, for example, in Africa, if you don't work, you don't eat. Simple. That's what's gonna happen here. If you don't work, you don't eat. You either live to work or work to live. I'm the latter. I work to live. It's the morning of Caitlin's work experience at the sports centre. I'm gonna kill you, Bob. And the reality of going to her first ever job is just kicking in. I think it's gonna be hard. They're gonna pick on me. They're not gonna pick on you. They are. They're gonna be horrible to me. Yeah. Black I mean white people are horrible to black people. Fuck off with you. <laughs> oh my god. Kill me now. Yeah, I've had to put a lot of pressure on myself because if I don't do well, I could get fired or I don't get a summer job. <laughs> You're 15, they're not gonna The rest that could happen is they're gonna get me to clean toilets so or clean the um, changing rooms, and that ain't gonna happen. Yeah, it will. You're gonna do it. Oh, knew it. I knew she was gonna make me clean the toilets. Yeah, oh my god, she wants me to clean it. <laughs> it's really not that hard. Just get a job. Even if you don't like it or anything, 
Just get a job, to get some money, or you ain't gonna survive. It don't matter if you like it or not. If you're scrubbing toilets and cleaning and you get like 25 pounds a week. <laughs> that's nothing compared to people that are in Africa. They, they don't even get one penny a day. She got a good head on her shoulders. Mama D raising her right, man. She talked all that shit. Oh, I'm not finna do this. I'm not finna. Hey, you still did it. You know what's at stake. You know where you from. You gotta change them generational curses, man. Starts with you. Oh, man, that's terrible. Full of stinky sweat. That one. Ah! Oh! <laughs> scared. He scared me. Well, this job's definitely worth it. This is. The... I'm actually glad I picked to do my work experience here. It's better than being at school. Back on James Turner, after his frustrating trip to the food bank, Mark's partner Becky has brought home the goods. This all off the food bank. Bloody hell! Chili con carne. Peach slices. Ew. Chopped tomatoes don't eat. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. Mush processed peas don't like. Robbie Sons. <laughs> Damn. That's tea? Not bad, is oh, it? Oh, weedable. Damn, I'm impressed. They're gonna eat good, why? Rice pudding for everybody on the block. Okay. So, is your bedroom tidy then? You spread it back up your bed, but you played snooker and you combed your it's hair. SB. SB didn't get the modeling job, but bettering herself isn't the only thing on her mind. She's also trying to make sure her son Tyrell is heading down the right track. He's had problems in and out of school. Every time we used to get mad, I always used to pick up the tables. And then. And then I got really angry. I picked up a chair and hit someone in in the head with it an accident. Because I threw it. By it accident. The head. There's badness all around. But I don't want him to grow up like that. So I try my best to sometimes we go to church, you know, so make so he can know God. It's hard for a single woman like to raise a, a boy. You can only teach them so much, you know what I'm saying? You can't teach a boy, a man. A woman can't teach a man, a boy how to be a man, you know? Simple. And things like that. I wouldn't want him to grow up and be a bad man and stuff like that at all. SB's worried that Tyrell's bad behavior is partly down to the domestic abuse he's witnessed. I just don't want my kids to have the life that I had. I wouldn't want my daughter to go through domestic violence and I wouldn't want my son to put anybody's child or daughter through what his dad put me through. <coughs> she decided to homeschool her son with the help of a couple from the church. That ain't it. Is still bullfrog swimming or sleeping? Tyrell is... He's a typical boy for what the trauma that he's been through. It's left an imprint Jeez. on his mind. So we have to try and let him know that not our fathers are the same. It's hard. It's a struggle. Satisfaction. Satisfaction. Excellent satisfaction. He wants a happy family. And I would love to give him that happy family, but there ain't a man out there right about now that can make that family complete, because I've got to make sure he's the right person for me, as well as my kids. Facts, that's a fact. It's just more so. It's a package deal nowadays. You can't just be trying to get SB Cooch. You gotta worry about her kids, it, too. I just want the best for them, really. I really, really do. D might not be able to repair Fungi's relationship with his son, but there's one thing she can help fix. The door? The record's gonna take an hour. Do you wanna come in and have a look? Come yeah, on. Let me take a 
Fun guys had no electricity for eight weeks. Damn. The D's managed to get the utility company to come round and connect it. We used to got electric down to you. What can I say? I can only love you more than I love you now. Yes! Man's happy. Thank you, gentlemen. Do you know something? If I had money, I'd give it you. All right, see you later then. Ciao, right. guys. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> I've got to get some money now for me electric and me gas. And then I've got everything I need. I'm happy. I'm it's happy. not that. No. Sit down, Steve. I used to be an electrician, yeah. But so now you used to be an electrician, now that the shit worked. Where was you when it didn't work, bro? Get out, matter of fact. Just get out. That's a faulty thing. He didn't used to be an electrician. Get I out. I've done the course. I'm not even listening at the moment, Steve. Sorry. Because the oh, Simpsons are on the I haven't watched it for eight weeks. I can sit here tonight now till one o'clock in the morning and watch telly at last. Put a bit of heat in on. Do you know something? I feel electric. It feels different, Sarah. Oh. Look at that from here. It looks wicked. I love it. There's lights in my house. It's like there's God in my house. The little things that matter. I like that. I like that. I you like never that. know what you got until that shit be gone. For some people on James Turner Street, working nine to five isn't the only way to make a bit of cash. How much? Twenty. Twenty. The only problem is don't have no money till next. Uh, if you've made it this far and you do not follow my Instagram, please. I only got thirty-five more until I'm at two thousand. I really want ten k, but like I settle for two. Like, go ahead, just, you know, the lit one. Simple. Sweet guy. Dead bones now. You just picked it all for free, so I don't see why I have to pay. <laughs> Holding down a steady job is one thing fun guys never quite managed. Stretches in prison have always got in the way. My mother brought us up properly, and I don't know how we went wrong. T H E E underscore L I T underscore O N E. That's all. Simple. My mum and dad, they were very street. What did you do? Your first ever crime? A oh, robbery. Armed fucking robbery? Your first fucking crime? Kick dough. B N E. Armed robbery? Not even just robbery. Oh, armed robbery. robbery. Done nearly four years. <laughs> Straight four years. Oh. Mm, Fucking hell, I thought you were going to say shoplifting or something like that. <laughs> Funky jumped right into it. <laughs> It would have been easier, wouldn't it? Oh, God. What did you try and rob? McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> it's serious. Yeah, I'm serious. McDonald's. McDonald's. What were you after? The double a cheeseburger? No, I had a sauna. That went off as well. I mean, because the police jumped on me and it went off. Fun guy. Do you see yourself as um, a clever criminal or a shit one? A shit one. <laughs> at least, at least that boy know. Huh? I've got caught, you know. So. <laughs> Have you always got caught for everything you've done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fun guy's still working on his plan to get clean and get back in contact with his children. Having the positive attitude, I'm sure you'll be fine. If you have an attitude, I've got the attitude, yeah. It's just, it's just getting there. It's just getting there. He has been clean. He's been eating. He has been looking after himself. He does not want to go back to where he was before. Next, please. Ooh. Take out. I forgot as we worked there. Two ninety nine, please. Having not got the modelling job she wanted. $2.99. SB found part time work in a takeaway. You know something, look, I paid exactly $4.50 for this one yesterday. $4.50, I saved you yesterday? You did, yeah, exactly the same one. Oh. Not in a small. The big one. That's, yeah. that's why you had veg. How much the veg? 50p extra. So I wouldn't have charged you $4.50. I know he's not the bigger one. You know, it's not the best job, but it, it's it's all right. It pays. It puts food on the table and stuff at the moment. 
So I'm still going to look for the Jabba one. I was thinking to audition again. Man said I paid the exact same thing for the same thing yesterday. Dude, veggie is not the same thing. Yeah. I hate when people eat that. Let's see, that's... Man, okay, listen. It's next stop, my dog. Be she real patient because I would have told him that's not the same thing. Just like that. That's not the same thing. And that would have been the end of my conversation. <laughs> <laughs> what are you? You should? Because I'm going to do the gym and everything all over again. And... Yeah, but you still can do it though. I've always, I've always wanted to earn my own money and you know, where we lived and stuff like that. My mum didn't have a job, you know, so for me, Growing up, I needed to have my own money. You should do it. You go and gym on a Monday. And I was doing my driving lessons now. <laughs> but yeah, I wanna. It's not that I don't wanna do it, but it's just hard now. It's not gonna be for long, though, is it? And then, obviously, the kids. Time off work. Time off work. My boss ain't gonna allow me to take time off. I will. You would. Yeah. I feel like I was born to be a star. Maybe else, what else you want? What kind of food is that? She looks kind of good. For Caitlin, her first taste of the daily grind, work experience at the sports centre has come to an end. I think my mum's going to be very proud of me because I did try my hardest this week. And she knows I don't like getting up early in the morning. And she's probably going to be proud of me that I actually did get up early in the morning. Thanks, I'm trying to no. I really enjoyed it. They got a cool relationship. relationship. So, Adam, have you learned anything about working? Is it easy? Is it hard? <laughs> it's hard. It's very hard. Is it? Yeah. And that's sort of funny, isn't it? Because you haven't actually been doing it like a proper job. It feels like a proper job. So you're still thinking that's the career you want? Yes. Definitely. Yes. Oh, I'm so proud of you, babe. She doesn't really talk about her ambitions, but I don't really have any worries about her. I mean, she's she's such a grounded girl. I can actually see Caitlin getting what she wants. Me Don't too. Don't ask about a summer job or any other type of job. No. No, why? Couldn't be bothered after what, I have, what, I, what I've been through this week. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> In your face. Oh, Bill! Ben missed out on meeting his youngest son. He's trying out, yeah. Fungi's now trying to contact his 23-year-old daughter. A new smartphone. Oh, oh! <laughs> See, bag of nerves, man. Oh, no. Please, don't do that. That's all right. He hasn't seen his daughter for over a year. I'm sorry, the number you've called is temporarily unavailable. Please try again later. Change the number. She's me off the phone, basically. Yeah, I weren't the best at in the world, but I'm trying now. What do you mean? All right. It's four years a bit too late, but I'm trying. Do you know what I mean? For the grandkids' sake. Do you know what I mean? There's one person Never in Fungi's life. Fungi past don't look that old. Turn to, his ex-partner Donna, the mother of his daughter. I want to find out what the fuck is going on with my family, man. Do you know what I mean? Why am I being blank so much? Unable to speak to his daughter, his only option is to visit Donna. I think I blew up my lips, that boy. Because you know I've been taking pills. Oh God. I just walk in the crib like that? What if she got a new man or something? I would have. Donna has just got back from a night shift and is looking after her granddaughter. She wouldn't ever turn her back completely on him. I know she wouldn't. It's a dad. But they ain't got that closeness. No, I mean, you got that bond. Too light for that, don't no. She's 23 now. Nice. No, I couldn't believe you seen that then. 20 years, that is. Where's that from, Donna? I'm in jail. I don't know. She was about three. She's in prison? Mm. I'm in the baby of those. Didn't see her for four years, oh, did you? Look at that. 
All right, leave it alone. <laughs> Basically, this is where I should still be. Do you know what I mean? It breaks my heart. I believe that I shouldn't... Well, I should still be here, and I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Donna looking like... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's all my doing stuff. Like I said, if I listened to that, then you still would be. I mean, I'm 40 now, look at him. Oh, you're 40 still. next birthday, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't take drugs in there. I don't even know that. I'm on my, my medication now. <laughs> I don't take drugs in there. I don't even <laughs> Yeah, right, boy. I'm on my, my medication now. Look, I have to carry it with me. What's medication? Drugs? Valium? Yeah, what happened? Methadone? <laughs> I can't get off methadone just like that. No, no, no. But look at how long has it been? Yeah, I've got it down. Mm. 180 mil, and down to 180 mil now. Just 80 mil, not 180. It's just, I think it's a lot to do with the area he lives in as well. And the friends he's got. It's... Yeah, well, I'm moving out of there anyway. To change there. your life like that, you have to completely make a, do you know what I mean? A big, One big break. I'm alcoholic, Brad. You're an alcoholic now. Oh, Jesus. That's what I'm saying. It's mad, isn't it? You swap one for another one. I don't think he could live the normal life. City. Frankie trying to get some cooch, some cooch from Donna. Look at You know, just being normal. <laughs> what is normal? I oh, know, yeah, true. All right, listen, I'm going to let you look after the kids, innit? Yeah. Yeah. You'll be good, Roy. Right? Right, nice to see you. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's the. You need to do it, you know. How far you get an Uber? I'm going to see you, it's me. Where the producers drove her. I mean, plus she got my, she was the first one to have my child. I mean, so it's an extra, extra special bond. When I seen that box, I was like, what? 20 years ago, man. Come on, let's get out of here. It's too many memories here for me. What's up, congrats? Too many memories here for me. Get that fake cry out. I feel it, fun guy. Fun guy, fun guy, fun guy. All that just for a fucking bit of it, anyway. It's a shame he passed away. I feel like he was on the right path during the show. Maybe it got worse. It's it's wonderful. It's nice. What the hell is this? <laughs> I've got friends who don't even know who the next door neighbors are. I don't want to. I don't want to see the uh, the preview. I just want to watch it, man. Tila, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. I hope you enjoyed Documentary Monday. Um, a lot of TV series on this one, but whatever. I'm gone. Follow the Instagram. Leave a like.